Right, today we're going to learn run length encoding. So what is run length encoding, RLE for short? Well, run length encoding is actually a data compression and there's two types of data compression. One, lossy compression, which means when you compress your file, you lose certain amount of data. Lossless compression, when you compress your file, you will not lose any data. And RLE is a lossless compression. Now, RLE is a technique used to compress file size without losing any data. It uses consecutive repeating data, called a run, in a file to reduce its size. Rather than storing all the data separately, it stores the data once and the amount of times it repeats. So how does RLE work? If you look at this image, the width is 10 pixels and the height is 6 pixels. And the, if, if we assume that this image uses color depth of 8 bits, so you have 10 times 6 times 8 equals 480 bits you will need to actually store this image. That's a quite a lot of bits that you would need. So if we look at this image, in terms of RLE, so how does that work? Okay, this is what happens. You have this image and it's got lots of white pixels and then it's got yellow pixels. So if you look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight white pixels and then it's got two yellow pixels, one, two yellow pixels and if we represent that, <clears throat> this is what it looks like. So you have eight white pixels and you have two yellow pixels. So if we just write them down like this, then the next row, if you look at the next scan line, which is four white, one black, three white, and two yellow. Then the next one is three white, three black, and four white. And the next one is one green, three white, one black, and five white. Then the next scan line is three green, one black, one green, one black, and four green. And the last line is we have only one black in the beginning and, there, and then nine green pixels. So this is how this image actually looks like if you code, code it in that order. Now, this, if you calculate, you've got 16 bit, which means if you represent the number of time it occurs, which is 8, okay, that you can store that using 8 bits, and then the color is white, which is another 8 bits, that will represent 16 bits. So 16 times 20, okay, which is 320. Okay, so if we look at this image, this can be also represented in a, a data pairs. So what do I mean by data pair? Well, you can actually store this in this way. So if you look at this, first we have an 8 white. So we can represent that saying 8 W, W for white. 8, 8 occurrence, and W for white. And then you have 2 yellow. So you can have uh, 2 for, it occurs twice, and the yellow, the color. And, of course, you can carry on. In the next line, it says, basically, <clears throat> it's got four white, one black, and three white, and two yellow. So in that way, you can actually represent the whole entire image using these data pairs.